right, welcome back. And let's go ahead and begin working on the, the eyes and the bridge of the nose. Right here, we'll see uh, in purple, we'll be working on the eyes here and the nose. And then we'll also finish off a piece I forgot about in the helmet up here to the left and over here to the right. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I've already got, I already have those pieces or those points shown. So we want a vertical line here for the left hand side of the helmet and for the left hand side of the eye. I want to do something similar here on the right hand side of the helmet and the right hand side of the eye. So we're going to use uh, what's called the list. So I want a vertical line. So these are going to be X equals problems. So I'm going to place in here X equal. I'm going to use the square bracket uh, to input my list. Uh, here we'll see that the X value for all these points here is negative four. So we want negative four to be the first number in the list. So let's place that here. And on the right hand side, we see something similar where positive four is the X value that we want to draw the uh, vertical line. So we'll place a comma and then put a positive four. And now we need to put in the, we need to limit this. So we're going to limit the range or the Y values. So here we see the Y values go from, um, go from four to five. So let's say four less than or equal to Y less than or equal to five. And then we also want to limit here and here. And we see the Y values go from zero to one. So we place a comma in here and then we're going to say zero less than or equal to Y less than or equal to one. And then we see that we have our, we have our vertical lines. Let's work on the uh, left hand portion the bottom left hand portion here. All right. And we see that we have the point. Let's put that back. We have the point uh, negative four, zero and the point um, three, I'm sorry, negative three, negative one. So let's place in the Y value. So I'm going to do y uh, equal i want to use this point as the point i'm starting with so i want the y values uh, so it's going to be y minus zero is equal to the slope and that's going to be x minus that negative four and now we're going to place in the slope which is going to be the difference of the y values divided by the difference of the x values all right the y values here is going to be zero um, minus a negative one and then negative four minus a negative three so zero minus a uh, negative one. And then we're going to have a negative four minus a negative three. And then we want to place in the limit and the limit here, as we see, is going to go from the domain is what we want to limit. So we're going to go from a negative four to negative three. So let's just widen this out some. Let's just go ahead and click home here. And let's see. We wanted it from negative four less than or equal to X less than or equal to negative three. All right. And that's what we have there on the left hand side. Let's do something similar on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and just uh, duplicate what we have. So we're going to duplicate that. And what you'll notice here is that the um, the the X values are are positive. So everywhere there's a negative four, we're going to make it a positive four. Everywhere there's a negative three, we're going to make it a positive three. So we're going to get rid of this negative four here, make this a positive three, get rid of this negative four here. And the domain is going to be in reverse. So we're going to go from a positive three to a positive four. And then we have that portion of the eye. All right, now let's do the, the bottom portion here where we're going to go from the um, negative uh, three, one to negative one, zero. I'm going to use the point um, negative one, zero. So my Y value is zero and my X value is negative one. So Y minus zero is equal to the slope times X minus that negative one. And now to put in the, the difference of the Y value. So it's going to be zero minus a negative one and negative one minus three. So zero minus a negative one. And the other one is gonna be, um, the other one's gonna be negative one minus a negative three. And those are my X values. Negative one minus, and I'm gonna place negative three in the parentheses. 
and again we have to place the limit on that and the limit here is going from we're we're doing the domain so we want the smallest x value which would be negative three all the way to um, negative one so negative three is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to negative one we see that in place and now let's duplicate that so the gear and then down here to duplicate and again what we're going to do is this here has the x values were negative over here we see that the x values are positive so we're going to take this um, this the negative one and the negative three we're going to make that a positive one and a positive three so here we have negative one positive whoops make that positive and then up here we're going to make this here as well positive and then we want to make this one here as well positive well actually you know what let me make sure i'm doing this right i want the point i'm using is one zero so my x value is going to be one y value is zero then i'm going to do let's do zero minus this negative one so that's fine so zero minus that negative one and then over here i want to do for my for my x values i want to do one minus three and that's what I have there. And then I'm going to limit this on the domain. The domain is going to go from one to three. So let's change this to one and change that there to three. All right. So now we have the bottom of the eyes and now let's go ahead and work on the nose. So I wanted, I want to drop two more uh, verticals. So I'm, I want a vertical line here at uh, negative one. And I want a vertical line here at positive one. So we're going to do X equals start off with the negative one comma positive one so those are my two vertical lines and we see here we want to limit that we want it to go from uh, negative three to zero so here we're, we're actually going to um, we're going to limit the the range so that was from negative three less than or equal to y less than or equal to and what i said was that was uh, zero i believe all right so there we have so there we have that for the nose and what I want to do now, I'll finish the bottom of the nose in, in the next uh, in the next video. But what I want to do now is that there's, there's a top portion of the nose. To do that top portion, I want to create a name function. And I want to change this function here, this absolute value function, into a name function. I'm going to call it f of x. All right, and the reason why I'm doing that is I need to get to a point that I don't know. I don't know what the value is. All I know is that here I'm at 1. I want this point to. Be, I want this point that's somewhere between um, a negative one and negative two. So I want the point that's at negative uh, one and a half. I want to know what that height is. I want to do the same thing on the right hand side. Where when x is one point five, I want a line to. I want a dot to show here. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. So down here to show those points, let's take uh, f of one point. Well, actually, let's put in the one point five. As the uh, or ne let's do the negative side first. So negative 1.5, and I want f of 1.5, and then I should see a point up there, which I see here. I want a matching point on the right hand side, and I want that point where the x value is 1.5, and I want to know what the output would be of that um, of that absolute value function. So here I have these. So here I have these two points, and I want to connect them to these points down here. So let's start with the left hand side. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this point here because it's the easier point to use where the y value is zero and the x value is negative one. So I'm going to place in here y minus zero equals uh, the slope and that was x minus a negative one. And then I'm going to place in the slope here. The slope is the difference in y values. Well, I want to use the name function f of negative 1.5. which is going to give me the height here. And I want to subtract that from the Y value of the point that I'm using. And that, uh, and that value was zero. And then I want to, and then I want to divide that by the difference of X values. Well, the, the X value of this point up here is one point is negative 1.5. And the X value that I have here uh, for this point here is negative one. So I'm gonna place the negative one in parentheses. 
And now I just need to limit it. I want this to go from, I want this to go from um, negative one to 1.5. So let's go ahead and pull this over some. So I want this to go from uh, negative 1.5, less than or equal to, whoops, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to one. And I put the wrong bracket here. I need the curly bracket and not the regular parentheses. All right, it appears to be going too long. Let's see what we're doing wrong. So negative 1.5 all the way to negative, oh, negative one, not positive one. And now we see that's limited. All right, I wanna do the same thing on the other side. So let's go ahead and just duplicate what I have here. So let's duplicate that line. Let's come down. And what we'll notice here is that I want the X values to be a positive 1.5 and I want the one here to be a positive one. So we're gonna change that from negative, negative, make this one here positive. Again, make this one here positive. Because I'm on the right-hand side, I need to switch these two. So this is gonna go from positive one to 1.5. All right, and then that's the other side of the nose. All right, let's just slide this over. Let's hit home here so we can get a view of what, what, what's going on. All right, so in the next tutorial, we're gonna work on the bottom half of the nose. We're gonna put in the mouth, and then we're gonna put in the outlines. And I believe that should uh, wrap up this tutorial. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you like it, please like it. Um, and as always, uh, keep watching.